away from Kaduna State now, Minister of Education Tahir Maman is calling the Nigerians to give President Bola Tinubu's administration the needed support as efforts continue to provide adequate security in the country. But the minister was represented at the distribution of palliatives to more than 6,000 members of the Progressives Congress in Adamawa State. Correspondent Owalabi Adenusi compiled this report. During the event, the minister insisted that the hardship the nation is passing through would soon be over due to the friendly policies put in place by President Bola Tinubu's administration. But despite that promise by the minister, these all progressive congress members across the 4,104 polling units in Adamawa state are here to get a share of the palliatives. The minister who was represented by the former ambassador to Czech Republic, Kelvin Peter, says the distribution of the palliative is part of efforts to support party members in the midst of economic hardship. The president has an agenda and one of the agenda is to see that food is available to all citizens. Security issues are being faced squarely and of course our son, the NSA, is on his knees, on his feet, day and night to see that all this insecurity is being handled and of course handled successfully. He however called on the party supporters to keep faith in the tenable led administration. To be a minister of education is not an easy one. You have to go extra mile for, of course, your impact to be felt. Nevertheless, there are primary things that we have to offer to our people at the grassroots, such as this. Shortly after, the party state chairman and beneficiaries thanked the minister for the gesture. Honorable Minister Professor Matahi surprised Adama people during the Christmas era. There is nothing you can do to your people at the time of this hardship than to reduce the burden that they are having. And that is what he did. Immediately after the initial flagging of Michika, the process continues across the state with the following beneficiaries. The state party leadership, our royal fathers and their subordinate, the district heads, religious leaders, and critical work stakeholders and others. We had many uh, 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 ministers. No one has ever called us like this and give us a token as our President Minister of Education has done. Political observers believe that this kind of gesture will go a long way to bring succor to many families during this fasting period.